Hey, it's Bushido 3D here. And in this video, I'll be showing you how I printed this Pokéface version 2. I'll be doing a review on this model and my printer's performance on it. So, stick around. for the vase trifecta and of course today we'll be printing the poke vase version 2 or ao2 and as always the links to this page will be down in the description so you can check out these models for yourself and moving into cura 2.5 so i can show you the settings that i use to slice and prepare this model for printing i used a 0.2 millimeter layer height and under shell i used a wall thickness of 1.2 with a line count of 3 that's very standard I only used the bottom layer with a thickness of 0.8 millimeters. Now you see that there's a top thickness, bottom thickness, top layers, bottom layers. And these are not standard settings under shell, but Cura 2.5 is a little bit more advanced than the older version of Cura, and you can edit a lot more settings manually. So to bring up these settings so that you can edit them, you hit this gear icon next to shell, and then under preferences and under shell, you can check these four boxes. So that brought up top layers, bottom layers. So the main thing I was going for was this, set the top layers to zero, and then I just left the bottom layers at very standard, four layers, 0.8 millimeters. Our infill density was 0% because we needed this model to be hollow. And since we're using PLA, specifically the Hatchbox Dark Blue PLA, I used 200 Celsius. That's what I use for the Hatchbox filaments. And also our bed was 50C. Our print speed was a little bit faster than normal, and I used 60 millimeters per second instead of 45 to 50, which is what I usually use. But this actually worked really well for this model, and I was pretty impressed. Uh, for support, we didn't need any. There was none necessary, so no support needed, didn't enable it. Build plate adhesion, also not needed, as there's this quite sus substantial surface down here and we use glue stick and hairspray, which works just fine. Cura 2.5 has a little bit more accurate time guesses, and it said that it would take 2 hours 47 minutes. It actually took 2 hours 55 minutes, so this was pretty much on point. It said that it would take 12.02 meters of material, and that's about 35 grams, which is accurate. So here's the print, and as you can see, it came out looking absolutely incredible. But before we get into more details, check out the time lapse. Well, I am just overly impressed with this print. All the layers are very nice and smooth, and I love the angles and geometry of this model. It makes it reflect the light very well. Also, this was a great first layer. It adhered to the bed very well. It's nice and smooth and really shiny. There were only a few small areas where there were little bumps of over extrusion, and I was able to remove them easily with my fingernail. And in this dark blue hatchbox PLA filament, this Pokevase version 2 looks really great. And I would say it's one of the best prints that I've ever done. 
Well, that's about it for this print review video on the Pokevase version 2. Stay tuned for a video coming very soon in the upcoming week on the Pokevase version 3, the final one in the Vase trifecta. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a big thumbs up down below. Also, if you have any thoughts or suggestions, leave me a comment. I would love it. And please remember to subscribe to this channel as it helps out a lot. Thanks for watching. Go make something awesome, and I will see you in the next video.